name is Neelam Rana. I'm doing or almost finished PhD under Professor Nairayanan. Uh, my work was on public policy in sanitation in urban cities. And I tried to look into role of different actors, stakeholders and discourses in making or influencing policy in sanitation. So today I will be talking to you about uh, municipal solid waste management. It's an overview. So we are not going to go into much details about municipal solid waste management. It is just an overview so that the next exercise or the next session that we are going to talk about which is about uh, planning solid waste management in small towns. You have certain understanding of solid waste management. What is the value chain? What are the actors? What are the uh, technological options if one has to plan for the solid waste management? So this will be, uh, this is the outline of current presentation. I will be talking about different components of municipal solid waste management. What is the status and trend, uh, governance structure to manage municipal solid waste, challenges in managing uh, solid waste, what are the different technological options that are available and that are suitable for Indian conditions and policy and regulatory framework. So uh, we will begin with first exercise. Uh, I want each of the groups to just reflect upon uh, what are the different components of municipal solid waste in your city or in your town. Okay. And second exercise that I want you to do is what are the different steps of municipal solid waste management. So this might come either you must have already read about it from your when you were studying or it might come from your experience when you see what is happening in the city. Okay, so these are the two questions I want you to reflect upon in the next. So, uh, what I can gather from the presentation, individual presentation, that more or, more or less all of you have some level of understanding of what does municipal solid waste mean and what are its different components and what what are the what is the value chain and as in how it happens, segregation, collection, transportation, and some level of processing, plastic processing, paper processing. So, all of you have spoken about uh, these uh, specific. Uh, uh, components. So I'm going to take you through uh, definitions which are by the book, so to say. So uh, solid waste, when we talk about municipal solid waste, it includes solid or semi-solid, dry and wet waste which can be divided into biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. So dry waste is your non-biodegradable waste and wet waste is biodegradable waste which comes from your kitchen or anything uh, from that area. It includes waste generated under the local authority or urban local body within the city limits. So why we call it municipal solid waste management because it comes under the municipality or urban local body. Urban local body is supposed to manage under the constitution of India, urban local bodies are supposed to manage your city waste. And it includes domestic, commercial, institutional waste as you can see. Uh, different kind of waste is there. It is municipality is also responsible to manage silt which is removed from the streets or silt which is removed from the nala or the uh, uh, drains. It is also responsible for managing horticulture, agriculture, and dairy waste. What it excludes is biomedical waste, radioactive waste, e-waste, battery waste, and industrial waste. Okay. This is a typical uh, municipal solid waste management chain. Uh, as you can see, the first point is unsegregated solid waste collection. This is a very simple uh, waste, solid waste management chain where the uh, waste is not being segregated at the source. Okay, so this is called kind of centralized mechanism where the waste is not segregated at household or at the source level. There is a segregation by either by the waste pickers or rack pickers and there will be some storage, big storage or transfer station. And then there will be some recovery happening by mostly by informal sector or maybe uh, some uh, waste uh, entrepreneurs will be there. And ultimately most of the waste goes to landfills like Balsawa landfill site which is there in Delhi. When you look from uh, nearby, when you go nearby it feels like as if there is a natural mountain over there or natural hill over there. It doesn't look like a dumping site anymore. It's so big, it's so huge. These are the functional elements of solid waste management in India which most of you have covered. Waste generation, waste handling, waste collection. So this is just the again listing of the same elements. 
Uh, I'm going to provide you a status of principal solid waste management in Indian cities. As you can see, there is a huge gap between what is generated, uh, what is uh, what is the per capita generation, and how much is collected. Or oh, I'm pretty sure these numbers are wrong. Actually, 60 to 80 percent they are saying that it is collected. I'm pretty sure these numbers are uh, much lower uh, in most of the cities in India. And when it comes to processing and treatment, only 22% of the total solid waste manage, uh, solid waste that is generated at a city level is being treated or being recovered for useful uh, materials. Um, if you go by some projections, our uh, Indian cities will kind of have huge uh, dump to deal with, waste to deal with, which is 165 million tons by 2031. Um, if there is huge potential that we can which is which goes untapped because we, we are not able to recover a lot of material from this solid waste. Like if we can kind of uh, manage, we can kind we can manage to have a um, power of four, 439 uh, uh, watts, million watts for uh, this thing from the waste. 1.3 cubic, uh, cubic meter of biogas can be generated if we process municipal solid waste and 5.4 million metric tons of compost annually can be produced. So these are the things which, which goes untapped because most of our waste goes to the landfill which is the centralized system of managing uh, waste. These are the trends in solid waste generation in India. You can see that these are increasing. <coughs> this is a state wise uh, solid waste generation collection treatment uh, in different states in India. As you can see, UP being the, one of the biggest states, there is no capacity of collection and quantity being treated. While the smaller state, they are still doing well when it comes to collection and treatment. Uh, which is, uh, what type of solid waste is produced by your household? Uh, do you find any differences in composition of solid waste from different cities? Uh, is there any difference in composition of solid waste from different class of household? Do you find any differences when solid waste comes from different class of household like high, high income, low income, middle income and is there any difference uh, in composition of solid waste from different cities? You have each group has different cities. Composition, by composition I mean again like biodegradable, non-biodegradable. So is there any change, uh, any differences in the composition of solid waste being generated across cities? And what kind of waste is generated mostly, the percentage is higher for which kind of waste at your household level. 